Hello, I'm Dr. Sharon Oberfield. I'm Professor of Pediatrics, Director of Pediatric Endocrinology, Diabetes and Metabolism at New York Presbyterian Hospital, Morgan Stanley Children's Hospital. Pediatric endocrinology commonly is said to be a field where we treat all forms of hormone disorders, growth and development, puberty, um, insulin resistance, diabetes. But this is a field that we really have seen grow in the past 40, 50 years because there are medications that can be given. You can have a child who comes with one simple disorder, such as an underactive thyroid gland. You now have medications where we can replace that missing hormone and the child will grow and develop normally. Most of the medications can be given simply by injection or by taking oral tablets or even now through nasal insufflation or by uh, methods that you apply medication to the skin. And these are children who we treat and they will lead totally normal lives. New York Presbyterian Morgan Stanley is a hospital that really is a children's hospital. We have a number of specialists within pediatrics. We have associated teams at Easy Access. We have leading national and world's experts in many disorders that are related specifically to my practice to endocrinology. This is the sort of institution where even during the initial evaluation, if you have a question, you can pick up a phone. You can get a consultant to help you. You can have a consultant even on short notice see a child. Endocrinology is not just a clinical practice. It also involves integration of current state of the art, findings, new research, and really new practice initiatives. At a place like New York Presbyterian Morgan Stanley, we have at our hands world-class physicians who are also physician scientists. We have bench researchers, and we can easily learn from all of these folks at a very limited time period to help us treat our children. Children can have very complicated endocrine disorders. They can have conditions where they will not develop on their own. They need hormones to induce puberty. And it's very hard often to make that balance and let them know what's going on versus speaking only to the parent. I think I enjoy watching their awareness uh, become an understanding and that they know they're not just going to another doctor but they're going to someone who will help them and then I truly enjoy speaking to the youngsters and giving them at age appropriate levels descriptions of why they're coming to see me. I enjoy sharing medical information with them. It's a lot of fun when they ask you to help you with their high school projects about their conditions it's even more fun when they ask you for a personal letter of recommendation as a backup to their academic letters for their college applications. So I enjoy their getting a handle about their diseases and helping them do so.